Ladies and gentlemen, Mitch McConnell did a press conference today and he froze up at the mic. And, you know, Mitch is not in the best of health. He has not been in the best of health for years now. You know, you hear about his falls and I think the last time he fell, he was gone for a while, a few weeks before returning back to the Senate. And it is just obvious. These folks are so power hungry. They won't even go anywhere and retire. Look at the situation with Dianne Feinstein. And then um, they're like, well, you know, you're only saying it because she's a woman. No, people are saying that because this woman really can't do her job anymore. And Mitch McConnell, he's right behind her. These people just don't know when to sit down. When it's time to go, it's just time to go retire. You know, I guess he's just going to stay until he's dead in office. I, I just think that's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to show you the video and I'll be right back with the rest of my commentary. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're on a path to finishing the NDA uh, this week. It's been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of uh, Okay, Mitch. Anything else you want to say? Or should I just go back to the press? Mm -hmm. Do you want to say anything else to the press? Okay. Go ahead, John. Let's go back to you. Go ahead, John. So this is the, uh, we're coming up on the one-year anniversary of the IRA. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so you saw the video. He just started talking and then he froze. You know, he's not going to get better with age. He's going to get worse. So McConnell freezes at briefing concerning colleagues. Yeah. So he stood there, as you saw, for like 20 seconds without saying a word. And you can clearly look at his face and tell something was wrong. So McConnell told reporters the Senate was on a path to complete work on the annual defense authorization bill and praise what he called good bipartisan cooperation before freezing mid-sentence and staring straight ahead without uttering another word. And it's no telling how many times he have these episodes. This is never a one and done thing. He probably have had these things happen quite often. So, mm -mm -mm. so you can hear the mask and Mitch, are you okay? Are you okay? You know, and he's just standing there. Now, from what I understand, when you're in Congress and the Senate, they have a, a doctor right there up at the Capitol. So he could get medical attention right away. So they said uh, the Senate Republican Conference Committee Chairman John Bra Barrasso a doctor who put his hand on McConnell's right forearm. Anything else you want to say? So you can also hear him saying, let's go back to your office. Do you want to say anything else to the press? Let's go back. So McConnell, however, appeared reluctant to leave the press conference. Yeah, he did, you know. Look, Mitch is 81 years old, y'all. 
he's 81. I, I think when you start getting up around certain age, I know some people are like, well, some people have their, some people still have their faculties. Yeah, that's true. Some do. But when you start seeing the things that are happening to Mitch him falling down and now you're looking at this, it, these things rarely get better. And I have heard that Mitch McConnell had heart problems for many, a couple of decades now, he's had heart problems. So you're not talking about somebody that got their faculties and they're doing great. He's not. He's not. And I could tell he was not doing well after that last fall and all the time he it took him to get back to the Capitol. I knew right then and there something was not right. So they did not address what happened, you know, but they're saying that it, you know, one of the doctors, you know how CNN and MSNBC will have doctors on. They said the way he looked, it looked as if he was suffering from a concussion. Maybe he was. So McConnell claims he's fine, you know, uh, he's able to fully do his job. Well, you know, you're going to say that. You're going to say that. So McConnell uh, said the GOP leader felt, um, one of his aides said he felt lightheaded and stepped away from a moment, for a moment. Okay, well then that says something is wrong. So McConnell was hospitalized earlier this year after falling and suffering a concussion at a private dinner. And that was back in March. I don't know, y'all. So he didn't return back to the Senate until the 25th to resume his work. And he said he was also in rehabilitation at that time, too. And he came back to work on April 17th. But you can clearly tell something's wrong. You know, why keep pushing yourself? You know, maybe 81 is as far as he can go. As far as being a senator. Maybe this is it. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.